100 Radio, man. We live right now. Sweet Auburn Fest. It is definitely going down, man. The Sweet Auburn Music Fest is definitely popping, man. Yo, a lot of artists been hitting the stage. Everything been going on. Shout out to people that's watching us right now. You feel me? Everybody's checking us out. People are coming through, getting flies and everything, man. This that. artist right here, man, he was dope. He hit the stage. He rocked out. Holla, my folks, man. Let them know who you popping. Let them know what's going on. Yeah. Tell them who you is. I'm 2K Zoo. Spell it without capitals because I'm the biggest. I just rocked out with my band Zoo Crew. We do all genres. I've created my own genre called Afro Emo. That was crazy, too. And you're right. It is your own genre. You kind of got your own lane, too. Yes, yes. And, and the band was dope, too. Y'all went up and did y'all thing. You feel me? Yes. Where you from? I'm from Dayton, Ohio, originally, but I'm really from the west side. Bank kid. Okay. Frederick Douglass graduate. So I got the best of both worlds. Absolutely, man. You feel me? So, man, talk to me about the festival, man. What do you think so far, man? Y'all rock the stage. What do you think about it overall? Oh, yeah, this is a real blessing to be here. There's a lot of good vibes, a lot of good energy. This is a real historic moment for me. I've never been here before. I didn't even know about it for real. I'm still, you know, I just never tapped into this type of festival movie scene. I'm, you know, small minded now trying to grow up, go bigger, and go, you know, expand my horizon. So, being a part of something like this is a historic event. It's just made to be like I'm real. I you know exactly. I won't be right. What made you come up with that uh, genre music and that style? Um, I listened to a lot of Juice World at the mo at the time when Juice World came out. Yeah. And, and well, I used to I listened to him because we both had the same style. I just didn't know what my style was called, so I had something to you know to call it. And then when he passed away, it really hit me. And then my one of my managers is African from Sierra Leone, and he kept telling me to do Afro beats, uh, try Afro beats out. So when I put my own spin on Afro beats, I ended up making my own genre on accident. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And it is different, man. So how 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 has it how has how has your music been accepted with, with black people? Oh, surprisingly, really well. Surprisingly, because you know I keep it to the motherland. You can't go wrong with Afro beats. It's like an automatic cheat code for real. Right. So when you mix that in, instead of just all that raw raw crash out music. I, I, I promote inspiration and positivity. Just keep going. I, mean, I promote stuff like that. Flexing on, you know, hey, you know, flexing on your haters, stuff like that. Yeah. I, I, I put out good vibes, and that's what you know people really want to hear. Like the, the mainstream media, they they ain't really focused on that. But I know right. it's real people in this world that like real music. Exactly. But and then and then like again, it's different. It separates you. You know what I'm saying? You don't sound like everybody. So that's also a cheat code to it too. You know what I'm saying? By not being a clone, by not copying the same thing, everybody doing over and over. You feel yes, what I'm saying? For real, yeah. for real. So um, you know, hey, how did you get? How did you meet the people that was a part of the band? Did y'all did y'all come up with that together, or you kind of did your own thing and then found them? Yeah, I did my own thing. I was artist developing myself, and along the journey, I was meeting different musicians, shooting content with them. And then over time, it kind of like happened accidentally. Well, I, I got booked for a restaurant gig, and they were like, you, you need a band. I said, damn, I actually could make a band if I want to. Right, right. So I ended up having a restaurant gig in Buckhead, and we just became Zoo Crew. And we, I named it Zoo Crew because from Young Thug and um, um, Motley Crew. I spell it like Motley Crew, so it's kind of a mixture of a lot of my childhood. Right, right. So it's like, you know, it happened naturally, organically. Yeah, and, and that's what's dope, man. And, that, and that's the best way to build everything. You feel what I'm saying? Because you know it's real from there. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't bought and paid for. When it's organic. Yes. It sticks at the end of the day. You yeah. feel me? So talk, tell me about your single and where people can find your music right now. Oh, you can find my music on all streaming platforms. My single, Keep Going, is live right now, doing big things all over the world. My song, Messy, that's real, real big on Africa and going all over the world. My song, Ready. I got. I just dropped the Afrobeats uh, EP not even two months ago. I did 20K first first day. 20k views first day on so it's just mean like that's my lane. Life Beats is definitely where it's gonna get me and my family out of here. Absolutely. So y'all enjoy the vibes. So tell everybody where they can find you on social media so they can find out what's going on with this yeah, the sound. Yeah. You can find me on 2K Zoo, the number two K Z O O underscore on Instagram, 2K Zoo on all other platforms. My band page is Z O O dot C R U. Z O O dot C R U. We are Zoo Crew. We can follow our page. We got a lot of content, a lot of shows, real consistent. Y'all gonna love us. Absolutely, man. And like I said, he's dude, dude is different for real, for real. And I, I was catching, I caught some of your show you know what i'm saying i was like yeah it, it is something yeah. different something so if somebody likes it they're gonna love it you feel what i'm saying because if it if it connect with them i feel like that's going they just gonna rock with you kind of so you say you was inspired by juice world he had a, he had his own little audience you feel what i'm saying i feel like if they're gonna rock with you and feel you they're gonna ride for the long haul you feel what i'm saying instead of kind of sort of you know Fly by night You yeah, know what I'm saying You exactly. feel me You know that what I'm saying I'm on. That was exactly why I'm on Timeless music I'm on some Luther Vandross I really don't care about Numbers or strings I'm going old school with it Right exactly Alright K100 Radio man Make sure you uh, connect with them Find that music man Really dope artist I'm looking forward to seeing you And see where you go with it homie Yes sir Thank For sure you. Sweet Auburn Music Festival man You know the drill Hit that subscribe button K100 Radio